Dick's not responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in ten, nine. Oh, there it is. Addie? Addie, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine, and you have 5.35 hours of oxygen. Maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Seriously. This stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. something man-made here. It's like a weather station, or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Day. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Which way here? back again. What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Looks a little tight. It's opened up again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Ice quakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. 
We're close. I, I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. Oh my god. This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I'm looking at what must be the Spire superstructure. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. Did you make it, Addy? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. Solid ice this way. Storks. Well, you should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash-landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. Looks like the tunnels can be air sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station could be pressurized. These can't be powered. There must be airflow in the tunnels. Um, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Jeez. That's gotta be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one-sixth of that on Earth, then a 15-meter fall here would be the equivalent to falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Oh boy, this is slick. Addy? Oh no. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. 
This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. Found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. Watch the meter closely and move your hands slowly. First position is locked. Second calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. <laughs> Look for a hinged floor grate at the foot of one of the doors. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grey Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune, and then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, oh, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you Logic then. For now. Until we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy, then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> do they not have squares where you are from? Just give me a second.
Light only the nine lights at the direct center of the panel. You need to toggle the other lights off. Light only the nine central squares. Light only the nine central squares. Light only the nine central squares. So what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. Go ahead and activate the elevator. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. That makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Can you open this? With some difficulty. I will need to direct power from logic to control processing. And I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. <laughs> You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. You know what's in these? Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. You must prime the generators first. Makes sense. These look like holding tanks. How exactly do these turbines work? Enough, Addy. You must go to the generators. What happened here? Someone ripped this apart. For the last time, go to the generators. So, why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right.
Going down. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. You must now go to the magnetic crane. You're sure I'll be able to fix this? If you trust in my word, yes. You must first cast out the old turbine. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Now you shall place the new turbine. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know who Everett is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you whoever it is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. Please, I'm not leaving. Yet more insolence. Do you know what these are? I have no record. They are likely parts to support the workings of this station. These look like crystal core processors. Amazing. Do you still use this technology? Maybe too expensive to build today. Do you know what happened here? It appears that some of the monitoring electronics have been removed from this console. Obviously, this is not integral to the powering of the structure. Isn't that a little strange? Difficult to say what may have taken place over the past millennium.
So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So, when she went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories mostly, and some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. Alright, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Tor. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? The Roman numeral 10? Okay, okay. Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Do you believe Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her? Like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors? That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the spire. But they no longer store any useful information. This looks Olympian or Neo-Egyptian. The triangle must represent the spire. Beautiful, don't you think? Does it matter if it's beautiful? That's another way to see it, sure. Cool statue. Or maybe it's a mobile. Do the little moons move? Perhaps at one point in time. Though I'm not sure of the relevance of that. <laughs> Just curious. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So, you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost, as you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? 
It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. Ah, a human truth spanning thousands of years. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I'm sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addie. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range and you can move on to the flower bed next to the stairs. This looks like Pacific Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can happen with people, too. What's the point of this, Addie? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. I have no idea what this is. A weapon or a tool of some kind? It's a device for working metal. Why do you suppose it's in this garden, Addie? It could be a symbol of hard work. An industrious future. Or a laborious past, perhaps. You're not a planner, are you? I've been told that. This must be terra classical, or made in the style. The ancient Greeks boarded their ships and set out to explore the world, discover its gods, and conquer its monsters. You are an explorer, Addy. But are you here to meet a god or to slay some beast, I wonder? What would you say these objects have in common? They're artifacts from long before the building of the station. The things we leave behind say something about us, don't they? What a society leaves behind is all we have in understanding how they lived. But we're interested in what you were willing to leave behind in order to come here. Haven't left a whole lot, to be honest. I believe that's all I will need to set the perfect temperature. Finally. You can move on to the flower bed next to the stairs. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. Go ahead and choose a blue, Maddie. I'm going to pick this. Thoughtful choice. You're not quick to take what's offered, and you're not afraid to stray from the path. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. Ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed, and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addie. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three. Two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Deep as you can, Addie. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addie. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please, shut out any negative energy and take in another life nurturing breath. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. 
Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addie? Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Three, two, one. And that's ten seconds. Excellent, Addie. We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs, past the flowers. I'll do my best to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working for you. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict? Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. Very cool. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. That's a lot of ice. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. This looks like a welder's jetpack. It's been disassembled for some reason. This one looks to be in working order. No power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the room? To the left of the rear door. But as I said, you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. This should show the power status of the room's various systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. You activated Control and Empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addie. You're right. What do I know? 
Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. Addy? Yep, it's me. Great. Uh, wh- what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And I'm pal? Sure. We'll call you pal. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. It's okay. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Hmm, I don't know. There is not. All right, let's look for something to deal with the ice. This could be promising. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? (laughs) Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it going to do exactly? Oh, I think you're going to like it. This is a welder. See if it still works. Look at that. A little blue light. That's not going to cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Can you open the fuel throttle to the torch? Okay. Whoa. I like that. What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You know how to fly this? Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! It's working! We can fly! Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know, but it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. Alright, this should be close enough. It's so bright and warm. Just hold me steady. This is really hard. Ugh, it's these stupid flames are throwing me around. Ugh, you may want to ease up, Addy. I think that's good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. As long as you're not using the fire shooter, flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. There's more ice here on the right. <laughs> oh, hold it steady. Sorry. Ah! Short for Sadie. He's really struggling. Let's keep going. On it. Last bit here. Now you've got the hang of it. This is so cool. It's like the best day of my life. Well, I'm afraid we're almost done. That's it. Do you think you can get me back? 
Yeah, I know. You got stuff to do. That's fun, pal. We make a good team, right? Yeah, I like the part where we burn the ice while flying. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna bring down the pod. So, where are we heading again? I will be able to obtain structure schematics once we reach the next level. You think we'll see any dead bodies? Hope so. Do you know if the pod system has stops along the way? It does not. We are arriving at the track terminus now. This looks like a settlement. I can't believe how well preserved it is. You think people could be alive in there? You should really consider thinking before you speak. And then consider not speaking. Logic. As long as life support is functional, it's not entirely impossible that someone's taken up here. Or they could be zombies. Well, that settles it. I'll disable Pal now. Don't you dare. We might need him. Ooh, more buttons. You really are unburdened by intellect, aren't you? What's the pattern here? It's the Latin Zes. Huh? Right. Slower processors. You might call it a backwards Z or Z. And you'll need to make it the full width and height of the panel. Just having Pal running in the background is making us all a little stupider. If we did switch Pal off, I could always switch him back if we need to burn there. something. I've been thinking about why anyone would want Grace to be shut down. And I wonder if there could have been a flaw in her base programming. Like what? Control and empathy programming divert valuable processing power away from cognitive ability. Which way am I going? The big colorful doors. As I was saying, empathy interferes with practical decision making. Control is a four-year-old. You are a four-year-old. Please stop. It says Keeper Rosaline. She looks like a keeper. Mm, she's pretty. What do you suppose a keeper is? It must have been a revered title if a statue was made for her. Huh. Spire caretaker, maybe. The key to restoring Grace may be about understanding her potential flaws. Are you going to tell me the pattern? You think we're flaws? Having a few flaws is perfectly all right. Logic sounds jealous to me. Jealous? Of what? You can't even open doors without me. Where are you going with this? We'll talk again once you can tell me whoever it is. Figure that out, and I'll grant you access to the main elevator. Grant me access? Logic. Seriously? She has no way to do things without your help. It must be frustrating for her. Could we create another hybrid? Logic and empathy? Yeah. Like how you made me. I could give it a try. Stop, stop, stop. You'll burn the place down. I will run a logic and empathy configuration as long as you promise never to allow Pal here to do any reconfiguring of our processing. Deal. I don't think that smart lady likes me very much. <laughs> Hello, Addy. Where do you want to start? Can we start with a security door to the settlement elevator? Hmm. They are encrypted. It would take me days to work out the pattern. Is there any other way into the settlement? There is a room off to the side that does not have an encrypted entry. Perhaps we'll find something helpful there. So you can open these ones? Well, they have simple passcodes. I can retrieve and play back for you. You will need to enter the sequence manually.
This looks like another control room. 